Magnets, how do they work? I always keep magnets around in the shop and I always keep them in the uh, purse there for away missions, the tool bag, because they come in so bloody handy. Couple little tricks here. You're working on a piece of gear, you got to look at a schematic, stick it right to the piece of gear, and then you're not worried about getting it uh, mangled up or greasy or whatever. It's just sitting there. Also, you got to handle thin parts. These are some washers what got powder coated instead of yeah so I gotta clean off the powder coating nice and easy also as an added bonus if you're working on a piece of steel say you gotta flatten something if you're working on a piece of steel that's flat you get extra oomph because the magnet is pulling through so it comes in pretty handy that way Say you gotta thread the needle in a blind hole upside down, fighting gravity, and you can't put any hair around it. What you can do, you get a magnet help you out. And then to hold it there, or you gotta hold it nut up sideways in order to get a nasty old hole threaded. At least you get it threaded, and then once it's on, you get a wrench on there, and it ain't coming out. Or you got to get a tiny little screw up in some cavity somewhere, and you're worried about it falling in and spits and sparks. Of course, that wouldn't happen because this is a Robertson. But if and you were from the States and you didn't have a Robertson, for instance, if and you're one of them poor, downtrodden, woe-betide fellas stuck with the institutional inertia of a fastener, Designed to cam out. Hey, look at that. I can't even get it to stick. And a magnet is your friend, partner. Eh, 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 eh. And if you do happen to lose a fastener in the muck, get yourself a rag, your magnet. Oh, not that. Ah. <laughs>